Hello and welcome, folks, to another glorious unboxing with your host, me, Glorious Badger. And in today's video, we have got the Leviathan Dreadnought. Now, this is the Forge World one, made of sweet, sweet resin. Now, let's have a look inside. I have had to change the colouring because this box is white and it was overexposing massively. So, uh, I do apologise, we're going to change colours shortly, but let's have a look inside this delicious box set. Okay. To begin with, we've got a guide to building resin model kits. Checked. <laughs> uh, by someone, 15th of April 2019, this box set has been languishing away in a cupboard untouched for quite a while um since at least then in fact i can tell you i purchased this at warhammer fest on the 11th of may 2019 and i've completely forgotten about it so this is, uh, well, with the plastic kit coming up, uh, I figured we should have a quick look at it before we uh, upgrade to plastic fully. But this is some basic stuff for building resin kits. Resin kits, of course, one of the major things they do need uh, re-forging, so to speak, re-bending various thinner parts, or indeed thicker parts with uh, warm water. They do need a good uh, washing, etc. Um, to remove any residue from the casting process. We've got here the Leviathan Dreadnought body, and wow, what a body it is. Look how chunky it is. This is not a toy. And what is in here? We have a component list, very important for Forge World. Always worth checking out. Make sure you have what is listed here with what you have in reality. Uh, so we got an assembly legend. Parts. Where the glue goes. Which is always a quite nice to see. Um, we've got optional bits, like so on its torso. We have um, Volkite calibers and heavy flamer options. you got different sort of um, leg positions. If you want bendy legs or straight legs. And that's about it, really. What's on the back? The uh, Remove the two indicated shims from the waist using a modeling knife. The cursed triangle think those are support things for casting. Uh, you will need to remove those. But that's about it, really. Optional um, Phosphex bomb launcher as well. Yeah. Well, that's the instructions. And there's my Instagram. Instagram.com forward slash Lawrence Badger. And you might see this miniature painted up. Now... Let's open this up. We have a plastic base. Very important. We have got the right side armor plate thing on the sprue, so to speak, with the um, key. This all obviously needs chopping away. We have got the Dreadnought's left side bit of chest armor right here. All feels doesn't feel too slippery. Sometimes you can definitely feel excess mold release on these things. Um, even if you can't, it's worth giving it a wash in warm, soapy water, uh, not hot, and giving it a scrub. I've got a toothbrush somewhere that I use for cleaning such things. Uh, we have various uh, leg joint bits right here. I'm not looking at the instructions. I'm just guessing, so some of this could be inaccurate, but... Um, there we go. So there's some leggy leggy bits. We have... Is this the... Hip? The hip bit? That goes into the... Um, like the lower waist, which goes into the hip. Potentially. It's got some sort of pneumatic bits to sort of wiggle everything around. So potentially that could be right. Um, and this is the hip bit. Right here. No. Nope. No, I take that back. This actually looks like the head belongs in there. Um, that was a complete... Yes, ignore that. This is the actual head section, I think. Um, 
sort of goes in. Well, I'm not looking at the instructions, so but it, I believe it goes in like, like that. Anyway, we'll probably build this up at some point. We got some auxiliary bits here, potential arm things. I reckon that's what they are. Lovely stuff. We have some feet. Two feet. Lovely stuff. We have got uh, the lower legs, I believe these are. Which the feet sort of sink into. Exhaust stack. Right here, you got to get rid of those exhaust fumes. So this is an optimal way for the Leviathan to do that. Uh, we have got... I have no idea. The top... I'm going to say this is the top of the head. This goes over the... Over the hel uh, helmet. And that's another random bit. It looks like an exhaust bit. Uh, and that's just pure guesswork. Lovely. We have... Oh, God. Phosphex bomb launcher. I believe these are the knee coverings. The knee joint coverings right here. Um, and here we've got the the Volkite culverins, the optional chest uh, weaponry, and we've got the Flamer weaponry. Now, I don't know if this is going to be for my Imperial Fists or my Iron Warriors. I always like flame weapons, and this is the <laughs> Dreadnought's codpiece, I reckon, where the legs attach to. Uh, or I could be completely mistaken. Who knows? And there is a con uh, Leviathan. I almost said Contempt. A Leviathan Dreadnought's head. Um, I did a tutorial on the Contempt of Dreadnought head. That's it. Those are all the pieces. These are all going to get uh, chopped up off their, off their supporting keys. And then they're going to get all soaked up and washed and glued together. I just need to figure out a kind of final pose for them and then I also need to figure out what exact what army they will be painted up I'm thinking potentially that one is going to go for my iron warriors and the new one that I've ordered the new plastic one will be a imperial fist dreadnought now you might be wondering why I've not shown any weaponry well weaponry is apart from the chest armor the weaponry is available in these delicious things now i will be doing a youtube short or a variety of other shorts unboxing for these particular ones but this is the storm cannon now 2019 i remember i purchased two sets of these so i went double storm cannon um apparently that was all the meta so that's why i purchased it it also looks pretty cool but there are some big chunky keys we got double we got storm cannons and it attaches to the arm with a big old ammo feed in there as well. So yeah, these are all purchasable from uh, Forge World. This was this was the cheesy double storm cannon version that I was going with. So that is that, folks. Thank you very much for hanging out with me today. I know it's a short video. Uh, I am trying to. I, I swear, I'm trying to keep my videos less than 15 minutes. Um, I'm really struggling sometimes. However. Uh, we'll get there eventually my editing will improve and things will become shorter now uh make sure you follow me on twitch twitch.tv forward slash gorus badger instagram instagram.com forward slash gorus badger etc etc and uh i will see you in the next video which is potentially um either a, a painting video which i try and do once a week or indeed an unboxing video and potentially even a stream um but thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.